Hi everyone, okay, let's take a look at the challenges. This time we're taking a stroll to Alexandria, the governor's uh, stronghold. So I've already done a couple of these. Um, at least today I've managed to do it on the day that these things are released. This is my little team that I'm bringing. I'm bringing Rick because one of my daily challenges is to complete missions with a shooter. I don't know about you, but I am really keen to um, get all of the tokens that I possibly can for this season's challenge. I want uh, I want the new hero. I want the new shotgun. Very exciting time at the moment. Just had a new patch. Guild Wars is back. Um, we've got a seasonal event. Everything's just been made that little bit better. Very exciting stuff. And I'm playing this on a tablet as well. So much bigger screen for me, makes a much better experience. The main thing is just the Guild Wars coming back. Just, yeah, so excited about that. So one of the things that I'm doing here is that I'm bringing Glenn, not just because, uh, as you know, I kind of like his ability to give you supplies, but also because you can interact with that gate and you can still use him. So I'd recommend him as a character because otherwise you're going to use a character. Let's say it's Maggie. And that's it. The turn is up. If it's Glenn, his lucky dumpster thing kicks in, you know, and um, it's almost like giving you an extra character. This mission is not too challenging. In fact, I don't think the Alexandria set is really that tough. There's nothing too much of a struggle here. But why make it harder than possible? So for this one, bear in mind that you've got a threat. So you don't want to make too much noise. I suggest bringing Glenn so that you can use him after you've opened the gate. Just my suggestion. Um, you shouldn't struggle with this. I recommend just moving the gate one bit at a time. So you could, if you were Glenn, you could push it and then you could push it again, for example, or get... Maybe another character. Oh, no, you can't do that. You can push it twice. Don't do that. Push it. Some walkers will appear. Take them out. Wait a turn. Push it again. Another reason why, if you do have anything that can reduce the threat, it's really, really useful. Because you don't want to take too long on this. You you know, it takes longer if you just move the gate one per, once per turn. But the longer you take it, the more walkers are going to appear, unless you have a threat reduction. So that's that's kind of a good thing. The loot, the back lot. Find the loot and get out again. This could well be another one where Glenn is going to come in useful. <laughs> Let's see. Obviously, Glenn there is armed with that bayonet rifle. McGaggy has got the wonderful festive shotgun. I bought the uh, bayonet rifle. Now, with this game, you kind of don't need to buy anything. If you do... It's actually pretty good value. You can have an absolute ton of fun without spending a single penny. But if you do spend something, at least you know that you're... You know, this isn't a pay-to-win game, so you're not sort of forced to do it. Um, as for the festive shotgun, I earned that. I can't remember how, but I did. So again, we can see Glenn's fantastic lucky dumpster skill kicking in. Now, I think that when we open that last box, pretty sure some walkers are going to appear. Let's see. Yes, they do. So it's a big one. And it's also two standard walkers. So that's what you're going to get. You saw what I did at the start of this turn, just... Wipe out what's there, search the boxes. You do have a threat, you can see that at the bottom. So that can build up quicker than you would like when you're on a higher difficulty. Uh, again, having threat reduction, useful. Having Glenn, useful. Just be aware of those features of this and the first mission. The, uh, the fact that you're gonna have to interact with things and you have walkers coming in because of the threat counter. Okay, so far, so good. Even got ourselves some seasonal event tokens. That's just lovely. 
by the way, always check what your daily quests are and try and go for those. You make reasonable progress if you complete daily quests every day. Especially when there's a seasonal event, because of course you get the event tokens. Good neighbours, loot the boxes and get out. All right. Well, again, this isn't too much of a challenge, this difficulty. So we're still going to bring McGaggy. Still bringing a shooter because that's part of the daily quest. Bringing Glenn is something that I would do on this mission as well. Wow, he's he's really getting the work out. Looks like we've got a threat counter as well. So, you know, if you're using firearms, use them on Overwatch. You, uh, you won't create any threat. That's uh, Glenn's lucky dumpster. Then I stabbed an enemy. The bayonet that he's got means that he potentially gets a free uh, extra turn. So that's exactly what happened just there. So that's why he managed to search, kill, and then search again. You can really use his skills to the maximum. Okay, come on. You are getting a musket blast to the face. It's weird the musket is a scout weapon, not a hunter weapon. But there you go. So that's quite simple. Three boxes spread out. If you have a scout like Glenn, you know, just search the boxes. Some walkers will appear. Take care of those. Do the boxes one at a time. Um, keep an eye on that threat as well. Don't take too long to complete this or you're going to get swamped. Again, pretty straightforward mission. Red carpet, get to the exit. Oh, hey, look. We're potentially not searching anything this time. I wonder if we've got a door to open. Let's hop in. Let's find out. Oh, yes. So this one, it's a bit of a shooting gallery. You've got that, that threat counter which ticks along very quickly. So I would really strongly recommend you can, you can use ranged characters. But uh, try and use them on Overwatch unless it's a bow like this which doesn't create any threat. Um, there's quite, there's there's a fair few walkers here. I mean, I don't know if somebody's counted them, but it's not an insurmountable amount, but it's it's definitely considerable on, on higher levels. When you consider that there's a uh, bruiser as well, you know, they can, they can take a bit of a pounding. Yes, you can stay back, create firing line, but Keep an eye on that threat counter, because when you get to those higher levels, you can get swamped. The walkers can appear faster than you wipe them out. The mission, of course, is to get to the exit. So if you've got characters like Beta or Huntsman Daryl, you can kind of sneak past the walkers. Don't forget that you can do that. Or perhaps throw a flare. Or use the gore so that they don't attack one of your guys. Don't forget all of those uh, those handy tricks. Yard work, kill all of the boys in the yard. I got bored there by the milkshake. Sorry, that's horribly dated. It's been a long day, okay? I'm not feeling very witty. Just going to wipe them out. This, probably not the ideal setup. Um, you could certainly think about bringing um, maybe an assault character. If you have... Daryl's AR-15, because then you can, you you know, or, or something like the harpoon rifle, the Alexandria pistol, things like that, which might be able to stymie the movement of the walkers. Again, they're not too much of a threat to me at this level, but when they are, being able to slow them down or stun them or just hold them in place is so useful. No threat counter, so you can be as noisy as you want. There's not too many of them, but they start close. Within two turns, they're going to be on you. You might even want to consider bringing a bruiser because they can take a pounding. Let the other guys kill them. Hey, you might lose a star because your bruiser gets hurt. But if that's the way that you need to get through these missions, then, you know, you do what you gotta. Hey, seasonal tokens. Okay, last one. Big boss man. Kill the big walker and its entourage. I think I think there's something tricky with this mission. If it's the one that I'm thinking of. There we go. 
There's the bruiser. But you're not the only one, are you? Mm -mm -mm. That's it. Yeah, that's what it was. I knew there was a trick to this. So once you have killed the eponymous big boss man, more walkers appear. They always get angry. So you might want to leave him to the last. The problem is that all of the walkers can start in a very close proximity to your survivors, meaning that they are immediately under attack. Again, maybe have a sacrificial bruiser if you have to. Maybe have, uh, let's see, who's charged? Shooters are charged. So yeah, maybe have a, a shooter with your most powerful weapon to start off with and hope that you can take down the closest walkers. There's not many of them. It's a small map. It's just a little bit like um, fish in a barrel in that you start close. You don't have much maneuverability. There's no threat. Just bring all your big guns. Wipe them out. And don't forget that reinforcements come in when you kill that bruiser. <sighs> okay, there you go. Stroll through Alexandria. Not as, um, not quite as constricted as the bar, the last set of challenges. Um, definitely some variety in there. What can I say? Good luck and thanks for watching. Now, let's see. This is how I stop this.